Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and you're watching Thursday Threads. Today, let's do the churn dash. You want to talk about it super easy, super fast. And I've had a, a blast making it. What you'll need four and a half inch white squares, two and a half inch strips of your white and your red, And you can do five and a quarter or five and a half. Uh, I like to give myself a little bit more wiggle room. So I've got white and red five and a quarter inch squares. That's it. How easy can that be? So four and a half inch white, five and a quarter inch white and red, and two and a half inch strips. Let's get going. I'm going to take my white and my red two inch strips and I'm just going to sew them together like so. I've already done this one. Okay. Now we'll press it and we'll cut it into four and a half inch long pieces. Okay. And I'm just going to use my seam as one of my guides for cutting. Snip off the end there. And I want that to be four and a half. what we're going to get. For each block, you're going to need four of these. Next, I am going to take one of my five and a quarter inch white squares, and I'm going to draw a line corner to corner. We've done this before. We're just going to match up our five and a quarter white with the line on it with our five and a quarter inch red. So I've got my, my squares with my line. And I'm going to use this line as my margin. It's going to be my guide. I am using my piecing foot. I'm just going to sew on both sides of my line. And you can backstitch, I do, just because it makes me feel better. You can see I'm still doing my leaders and enders. Always fun. I'm just going to kind of pull that this way. and you don't have to do the backing up because we are going to be squaring these. Like I said, I like wiggle room, so I made them a little bit bigger. 
five and a half inch squares were a little bit too big. So I think five and a quarter should be just about right. Okay, so see, there we go. Now we're just gonna cut down, we're gonna slice it right down the middle, right on our line. We are going to press it open to the red, and then we're going to square it up. Now let's square it up. I love the rulers that have got this triangle because what you're going to do, this needs to end up being four and a half. So let's use our four and three quarters line. We're going to put this line directly on our seam line and we're just gonna trim off anything across the top spin it around I like this thing this is so awesome now I'm going to use my four and a half line Right along that seam again. And voila! And I've got a nice point on each corner. And there's the hard part. The rest is piece of cake. We're going to take our four and a half inch white and we want it to look like this so and this time I am going to make sure I do a back stitch and I know some people who don't know what I just do we're putting all this time and energy keep it going good To the other one. I've read that the churn dash is one of the first ones that girls would learn even today in the Amish communities and different things and I think it's because it is so easy and it goes so quick. I've also read that this is one of the earliest truly American blocks and that it would be that it goes back to the pioneering stage and how they, they would work on this on the wagons and things and can't quite figure out how they came up with churn dash you know for making butter but because that doesn't look like a butter churn but there's also a lot of other things there are so many variations you're going to want to press it in towards the red Let's take one of our triangles here and then we'll take one of our pieces from the strip and then another triangle. And if you want a pin, pin. I 
I'm finding when I'm doing piece by piece like this, I'm able to do more without pinning. And I think that comes from practice. Now when I imagine up my seams, oh yeah, I pin. And those of you who know me from the beginning, I pinned everything. But I've gotten better. And if I've gotten better at it, that means you will too. I don't have my leaders and enders with me at the moment. Ta-da! So far, let's do the other one. Okay. Oh, there I go. I just slipped a little bit. Maybe I should have pinned this. This time, I'm going to press it towards the center. I will press it. I, I don't like pressing and having a whole lot up here at my little points. So I'll press away from next. If I do it this way, it just feels like it's bulkier. This way, it just, it's just doesn't feel as bulky. Plus, this way, it'll match up better with my next piece. And this time I am going to pin because I'm going to nest my seams. Do you see how this one is going that way and this one's going this way? I can just bring it right in there until it fits. And boom, there we go. That one too. And you're just going to sew it down with a quarter inch seam. And then we're just going to do that with the other one, and we'll be done. And you have a block. And let's double check my measurements here. Twelve and a half. Perfect. Twelve and a half. So there we go. We have our churn dash. And what I've done... I'm using this as a sashing, and I didn't want them quite as wide as the white strips, so I made these two and a quarter inch wide, so they'll be just a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, and I think add a nice contrast for, ta-da, so far so good, huh? Very easy, very quick, and a lot of fun. It's a very simple, now you can make it as complicated as you want. I've seen some where your two and a half inch strips, they did these in different colors. So like if this was red, I could do these in, in purple. I've seen some where they were scrappy. So there, and there are so many different variations for this. It Experiment. Have fun. There's no mistakes, just happy little accidents, you know. Think of Bob Ross and all those happy little trees. Well, we have happy little blocks. 
would be great for a sampler quilt. And I'm going to have a lot of fun over the next few weeks looking at the different variations. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to see what you come up with on your churned ashes. So send us pictures. We love pictures. You can find us on Facebook at Crazy Dave. Also at Sewing and Crocheting for Beginners. And don't forget to look at our website, cdcrew.com. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew. Thanks for watching. Bye.